zero number nine one nine three slash bill slash S E N slash two L to authorize the President of the Republic to ratify the protocol related to an amendment to Article fifty A of the Convention on International Civil Aviation, ICAO, signed at Montreal, Canada, on the 6th of October, 2016, presented on behalf of the Foreign Affairs Committee by Senator Kinyang Nyang Dao. <laughs> Mr. President of the Senate, dear colleagues, during its sitting of 15 June, 2022, the Chairman's Conference, after scrutiny, declared admissible Bill number 193 slash Bill slash SEN slash 2L to authorize the President of the Republic to ratify the protocol relating to an amendment to Article 50A of the Convention on International Civil Aviation. ICAO signed at Montreal, Canada on the 6th of October 2016. This bill already adopted by the National Assembly was forwarded to the President of the Senate in accordance with Article 80 of the Constitution. In keeping with the provisions of Sections 33 47 of the Standing Orders of the Senate, the Chairman's Conference in its sitting of 21st June 2022 confirmed the admissibility of this bill and entrusted it for scrutiny to the Foreign Affairs Committee. The committee met for that purpose on 22nd June 2022. The bill was presented and defended by the Minister of Transport. The deliberations took place in the presence of the Minister Delegate at the Presidency in charge of relations with Parliament. It emerged from the explanatory statement that this bill tabled before Parliament for scrutiny seeks to authorize the President of the Republic to ratify the protocol relating to an amendment to Article 50A of the Convention on International Civil Aviation, ICAO, signed at Montreal, Canada, on 6 October 2016. Initially composed of 21 members, successive amendments to Article 50A of the said protocol brought the ICAO Council member to 36 in 1990. Therefore, this fifth amendment aims to further raise the number to 40 to 40. The third increase is warranted by the need for a greater balance on the representation of contracting states within the CAO bodies. Taking into account its increased membership as well as the expansion and growing importance of international air transport services for the national economies of many countries. Resolution A39-5 of the Ikawa Assembly recommends to contracting states to proceed urgently to the ratification of this amendment. As a matter of fact, the protocol subject to bill under consideration will come into force upon submission of its instruments of ratification with Ikawa. Cameroon's ratification of this protocol would enable it to maximize the new resultant opportunities. Invited to take the floor to provide additional explanations to the explanatory statement of the bill under scrutiny, the Minister of Transport revealed that the protocol relating to an amendment of Article 50A of the Convention of International Civil Aviation stems from the increase in the number of members of the CAO Council. On the one hand, the development and the increasing importance of international air transport to the national economies of several countries. On the other hand, 
Concluding his statement, he indicated that the increase in the Council's membership offers more possibility to the contracting states to take part in coordinating the activities of the organization. With such a possibility, therefore, Cameroon can nurse the hope of getting a permanent seat in the International Civil Aviation Organization Council in case of a significant increase in the performance of its aviation services. During the general discussion open after these additional explanations of the Minister of Transport, members of the Foreign Affairs Committee expressed concerns on the increase of the Ikawa Council membership from 36 to 40 after the tabling of the ratification instrument by the contracting states. In this wise, your committee members recall that to date, only 70 Ikawa member states have completed the formalities for the ratification of the protocol. The urgency for our country to proceed with the ratification of the protocol, your committee members sought to know if it is such urgency which has led to the tabling of this bill before Parliament during this ordinary session. The advantages that Cameroon is expecting after the tabling of the ratification instrument of this protocol, the increase of the cost of automobile technical checks and the reasons for such an increase, the possibility for Cameroon to be elected into the Ikawa Council given the low performance recorded by the national company Cameco. The persistence of the problems of Cameco despite numerous changes of the management team. The abandonment of defective cars in the street of big towns. To solve this problem, the committee members proposed that government would create warehouses where such cars would be recycled or destroyed. Taking the floor to provide answers to the concerns of members of the Foreign Affairs Committee, the Minister of Transport recalled that the Ikawa is made up of 193 member states, amongst which 70 have already ratified the protocol relating to an amendment to Article 50A of the Convention on International Civil Aviation. Continuing his statement, the government representative recalled that the entry into force of the protocol calls for its ratification by at least 128 contracting states. Concerning the election into the Cabo Council, states are selected amongst those who offer quality aid services. The minister explained that quality is determined by clear indicators, particularly the ability to act promptly in the face of air disasters, the guarantee of security and safety in the domain of civil aviation, etc. To this end, the Director General of the Civil Aviation Authority was instructed to further reinforce the security and safety of civil aviation in our country and as you said, by increasing the probability of the subsequent election of Cameroon into the Ikao Council. At this moment, Cameroon has made considerable efforts in responding to and managing aircraft accidents. Such was the case during the crash of the aircraft of last 11 May 2022, which killed around 10 persons. Investigations of these accidents are ongoing with the technical support of Nigeria. Concerning the benefit to be drawn from the ratification of the protocol, the Minister of Transport revealed that in the domain of air transport, opportunities will be multiplied, amongst which the signing of partnership agreements. Thus, Cameroon signed an agreement with Algeria on 24 February 2021 and another with Canada on 1 June 2022. 
This agreement will contribute to the development of the national civil aviation through the opening of new business opportunities and the promotion of tourism. On the cost of automobile technical checks, which have increased, the Minister of Transport declared that the increased notice is linked to the multiplication of practices such as the fraudulent issuance and the trafficking of windscreen licenses, the circulation of defective vehicles, etc. The reform put in place by government seeks to reduce such practices and harmonize the procedures of technical checks and the harmonization of prices in conformity with the real levies defined since 2015. Urban transport is not concerned by the reform whose implementation has helped reduce the number of road accidents and related deaths. Browsing the regular change of management as Carmen and the, the persistence of these companies and problems, the government representative records that the National Airlines company is subjected to a recovery plan in three major areas, namely the increase of domestic flight, deployment into the sub-region as well as in the rest of the continent, all that is necessary to acquire new aircraft that can help widen the scope of operation. Speaking finally about the cleaning of streets in big towns by clearing of abandoned cars, the Minister of Transport declared that this service is provided by sub-agents of his ministry. Besides, the project to institute an allowance to be given to owners of defective cars for the destruction of his was drafted and submitted for assessment to the Prime Minister, Head of Government. After this uh, discussion, we are committee members proceeded with the scrutiny of the sections of the bill under consideration. Sections 1 and 2 did not receive any remarks and were adopted in their initial form. Having reached the end of their discussions, the finding and finding no divergence from a bill adopted by the National Assembly, members of the Foreign Affairs Committee adopted each of the sections in their initial form, as well as the entire bill number 193 slash bill slash SEN slash 2L to authorize the President of the Republic to ratify the protocol relating to an amendment Article 50A of the Convention of International Civil Aviation, ICAO, signed at Montreal, Canada on the 6th of October 2016. They now request the whole house to kindly endorse their conclusions. Thank you, Mr. President.